I love the way the exhaust sits on this bike. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part 5 of the ZX6R Rebuild. In the last video we installed the engine covers, a new radiator, we also gave the bike a full service and we managed to get it to run. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will put the link in the description below. In this video I'd like to install the wheels as well as the parts that I had powder coated. We'll see how much I can get done in this video, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so the wheels look great and I think they're going to look absolutely insane with the fairings that I've got for the bike. But before I actually go ahead and install the wheels, I want to install the radiator guard first. There's more space while the wheels are off to install that. You guys just saw me cut the link pipe and I quickly stopped at a welder to weld on these pins for me. Hopefully I will be able to install the exhaust in this video, I'm not sure just yet. But let's go ahead and install the radiator guard, then install these discs on the wheels and then put them on the bike. So let's get to it. Alright guys, check this out. This actually looks really good with the radiator guard and the front wheel on. I was just about to install the rear wheel and then I noticed that the bearing actually needs to be changed on the sprocket. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and change the bearing, install the rear wheel and then I also want to install the sprocket cover. So let's get to it.
All right guys, so this is actually starting to look really nice. Now what I want to go ahead and do is install the chain guard and the rear mud guard. But before I do that, I quickly want to restore the color in the plastic. As you can see, the plastic is a little bit faded. You guys have already seen me do this in previous videos, but if you are new to the channel, I will go ahead and show you how I do it. All I do is I take a heat gun and I move in a very slow circular motion over the plastic. I don't stay too long in one area and then it slowly restores the color. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Alright guys, so the chain guard, the mud guard and the rear brake is installed and I actually forgot to mention that I did put on some brand new tires after I fetched the wheels from the painters. As you can see, they're Michelin Pilot Street Radials. But now that that's out of the way, I want to go ahead and start installing the whole front end, the top yoke, the handlebars and also go ahead and fix this wiring. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so the bike is really starting to come together and it looks really good. I haven't adjusted the handlebars just yet how I want them. But now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and install the shorty levers as well as the domino grips and maybe even some of the parts that we had powder coated. So let's get to it.
I love the way the exhaust sits on this bike. Now before we can actually go ahead and start it to hear what it sounds like, I need to install the airbox again and the tank for the very last time. I also want to sort out all the wiring that goes from the handlebars. And I also got the fuel cap back today. The guy already installed the fuel cap pad for me. It looks great. Now all I'm going to do is install this on the tank and all the accessories that go with it. Put it on the bike and then we can hear what that exhaust sounds like. So let's get to it.
Alright guys, the SE project sounds good and it looks great. The bike is officially 75% complete and it is ready for fairings. I know I still need to adjust the handlebars and fix the front wiring. I haven't done that yet because I can only do it when the fairings are on. Because I still need to figure out which wiring is for the indicators and the headlights. I've got the fairings right there. I'm quickly going to lay it out here on the ground to show you guys what they look like. And just like that, the fairings have been placed. Let me quickly give you guys a cinematic of what they look like. So the fairings look great and I think they're going to look insane on the bike. I will be installing them in the next video as well as these knee grips, a tank pad to match the fuel cap, a nice keychain. I will also be installing the C6 headlights with the color changing parking lights, a new headlight as well as an integrated tail light, new indicators for the front, the front wiring harness for the headlights. And I did tell you guys that I had the seat cover pulled over. You will be seeing that in the next video. And so if you want to see this ZX6R come to life, all you got to do is subscribe and turn on all your notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram. I do post updates on Instagram before YouTube. Until next time, peace out.